you've got Half-Life Alex and you want to play it on your Steam Deck without VR, now you can. Now, if you've downloaded this already and you try to run it, you will get a VR error, as you can see on the screen here. Installing the no VR mod is actually extremely simple. So let's dive over to desktop mode. Once in desktop mode, go to your Steam library and go to the properties. Go to local files and hit browse up the top to open the location where your Half-Life Alex install is. And then you want to head over to your browser and head over to ModDB. Now there's a link to the description below that's got a text guide of this from our article and links to all of these sites as well. So once on the ModDB site, head over to the file section and look at the latest update. At the time of this update, it was update four and hit the download now button. Save this somewhere easy to get to on your Steam Deck. I usually opt for the downloads folder as it's quick and easy to get to. Once that's downloaded, just open it up and extract the files directly into the game install folder that you just opened for Half-Life Alex. When prompted, overwrite the files. When prompted, overwrite the game files. And that's all you need to do from the file side. Now you'll need to go and put in some command line arguments. Now, for some reason, my keyboard gave up on me on Steam Deck desktop mode. So I did switch back over to game mode and also that's where I wanted to show the gameplay. So once that's copied over, switch over to game mode, head into the properties for your Half-Life Alex install and under the general section for launch options, you're gonna to wanna to put in a few things here. The most important is the hyphen VSync and then a space and hyphen no VR. This enables the mod to actually be able to play the game with no VR installed and the extras are optional, but these are highly recommended to put hyphen W space 1280 and then space hyphen H space 800 to set the resolution for your Steam Deck. And again, if you want to use console in game, completely optional, also add hyphen console and hyphen v console. This will allow you to use the consoles in game to spawn things or to skip sections if you get stuck. And that's all you need to actually get things up and running, but there are a few issues right now. This is an ongoing mod and it's only playable up to the end of chapter six. If you do have a previous save game, don't load it because if you do, you will just end up stuck. And if you do actually manage to move around, the gun mods don't actually function properly. As you can see here, my ammo is stuck at one and you can't actually hit anything. So first thing you want to do is when you do get into game is start a brand new game, but you can choose a chapter to start from so you can get roughly to where you started the game. One of the keybinds is no clip and it does have a dedicated controller layout. So make sure that you use that in game. The no clip will come in handy as you can get stuck in the environment quite easily. And there's a few sections where you might not be able to progress very easily. So you do want to make sure that you can just clip through that section. Otherwise it does run extremely well as you can see here running at 60 frames per second with the high fidelity mode. But one of the other things to note is at this time the gravity gloves are not working and neither are the synthesis machines. So you can't actually upgrade your weapons right now. And when picking up items, you really have to be right on top of them to do so. There are a couple of other graphical glitches. One is with the barnacles. They don't actually pick you up off the floor right now. So if you do get stuck in one, you do need to kill it off quite quickly as it will keep you on the floor, but it will still do damage to you. The community is doing extremely well on this. They are focusing on getting the game completable all the way through. So chapter seven is their next focus and they do have a mod for the gravity gloves working. So this should make it into the next update. Follow our article to get all of the latest updates. We will regularly update it as they update the mods so that you can get further in the game and much more enjoyable experience. But for now, up to chapter six, you are able to play this on Steam Deck and hopefully they'll get the other things fixed very soon. Let us know in the comments below if you're gonna be diving into this one or you're gonna wait for a bit more info. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.